forehead cut into two. And you guys went on a little bit of a run. What happened then? What were you saying to each other in the huddles? Uh, we just try to stay composed. I mean, basketball, I feel like, is a game of runs. So, I mean, they was having their run, but we knew when our run came, we just were not going to let go of the gas. We just gonna keep going and keep going and just until we just broke away. And then that's what happened. How many of this has been a guard driven team the last few years and been, been loaded backcourts with a bunch of really good guard play? I, I, th I don't think people thought it was necessarily going to be the strength of this year's team. You guys, the three of you guys, came out and scored 60 tonight. Do you think? You're going to su surprise some people as a backcourt? We actually got four guards. Kevin Knox, me, Quade, and Shea. So, I mean, we're very, with four guards, we can all play different spots. So it's going to be really tough. I mean, any night we can all come out and have a high in the game. That's the good thing about this team. We're very deep, and anybody can have a great game any given night. And anybody can take a step back, and anybody can take a step forward. So you're with Cal on that, <coughs> that Kevin Knox is a 6'9 guard? Definitely. He's just, you didn't see you him out there? 6'9 <laughs> guard, I mean, he could shoot it. He could get to the lane. He knows how to pick his spots. And he's, a, he's been improving on the defensive side. He's been a great defender for us this year. Probably one of the best on our team. And he's just been bringing a different type of energy. And that's what we need him to do. What changed for you down the stretch tonight? You kind of caught fire late. And I know Cal said he was harping on you to attack and not settle for shots on the outside. Definitely. I mean, just Cal just told me to keep attacking, keep attacking. My shot's going to fall. And I feel like I settled for a couple of bad shots. And he called me out on it, took me out. And that's why I came here. And that's why I chose to play for him because he's not going to let little things like that slide by. And he wants me to be my best version every time I'm out there. So I took a couple bad shots. He called me out on it. And I just had to get my head back in the game knowing that next plays I got to get to the rim and shoot shots that when I'm open. And that's what I did. I think I saw you on, on the radio show. You had some commentary on the rebounding tonight. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I mean, you can't get beat on the rebounds. We're an athletic team. I mean, we're very big and long. So that's, that just can't happen to us. Uh, did you shoot a lot of threes in high school or any of you? Because the coach said, you know, if you shoot a three, out. No, no, no. I don't he know didn't. if he means that literally. No, he didn't shoot that. He mean if I shoot step back threes or reckless threes. That's what he meant. Not if I shoot a regular three, I'm out. That's ridiculous. <laughs> but, I mean, he just doesn't want me taking ill-advised shots because it's not good for our offense. So I'm with him on that. I mean, sometimes I tend to get in, get in the bag, get in my old habits. And just shoot step back threes and things like that. But he's just trying to modify my game and make it as simple as possible for me. That's why he's such a great coach, and that's why I keep. I know when I make a mistake, it's my fault. I just gotta live with it, and when I get back in there, I just gotta try to make it better. And that's what I did today. They had it down. The team's resolve tonight, the way they, you guys, they, they were up only by two, and then all of a sudden you went on that 14-2 run and blew it open. Uh, I mean, we just we have great players, great guards, and we can't be doing that though. I mean. We can't do that on big games that might not happen. So we got to punch teams in their mouth early and just try to put them away early. But I mean, that's good. That's a good trait to have that we know that if the game gets tight, that we can pull away as well. So that's a good trait to have. But we definitely just want to put teams away early. Coach also said that Jamal Baker will be out for maybe three months. What impact do you think that has on uh, you know the season? I mean, definitely a big impact. I mean, losing a player like him and of his caliber, he's a great shooter. I mean, we need him on this team. So losing him is going to really hurt us for three months. Hopefully, we can get him healthy quicker than that and get him back on the court. But for me personally, that's my teammate. I don't want to rush nothing with no injuries. I mean, injuries is a big thing, so I just tell him take his time. And just when he comes back, we're just going to try to make him as comfortable as possible and just make sure that he's fit. Same thing goes for Jared. I think you know, kind of think you guys need outside shooting more, and boy, losing him. Is I mean, I, I, me personally, I feel like we need any player. I mean, if we if we lose a player that has came in and he's one of us, it just hurts our team as we don't have as much depth as we're supposed to have because coming in, we thought we were going to have more depth. But as people just saying on the shooting things, I feel like we have great shooters, and right now shots are not falling for our shooters. I mean, they're going to fall eventually. That's how I see it. The crowd's energy increased as you guys started to pull away there in the second half. Could you guys feel that energy, or were you guys feeding off that at all? I mean, I feel like we fed off our own energy. We know that we was they was cutting in our lead, so we don't want no team cutting in our lead. And we feel like we're great players, and that's not supposed to happen. So we huddled it up and talked to each other and just got fired up and just went on our run.